So your crush doesn't like you back. <laughs> Like. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. While you're relaxing, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to get your crush to like you for Valentine's Day. You're welcome. All right. Confidence is key, all right? You know, I'm talking some real confidence. I'm talking about the guy at the gym that despite the fact that he has no muscle, he still walks around with his traps flex, just like this, just all the time. This guy will be constantly flexing his traps wherever he goes with the utter confidence like he owns the place. This guy will go to any setup at the gym, pick up one weight and do one rep. Wow. Yeah. So next time you see your crush, I want you to walk up to them like a well-groomed, freshly showered bear that demands respect. Then eats it. You know what? Um, unless you haven't showered. You know what? I'm gonna make that number one. Shower, all right? Yep, hygiene or die, Gene. All right, yeah, brush your hair and your teeth. Not with the same brush. Two, confident. You see your crush. You're showered. Eye contact. Don't be shy, but also don't overstay your visual welcome on her face gazer. Too much eye contact can be creepy. Look at them right in the, the phasers. <laughs> and if it's a girl, you don't even have to say hi. Just say anything and involve the word dogs. At least one girl within hearing range will go, oh my god, and then tell you about a story that happened to her involving a dog recently. And you got yourself a conversation starter. All right, so you got your shower. You got your confidence, all right? Number three, stalk them. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding, not in a creepy way. I'm talking about like, you know, find their hobbies, their interests, what do they like, where do they eat? Why were they 15 minutes late to class the other day? What's their social security number? Why are high quality binoculars so expensive? Ah, you know, like just trivial stuff. All right, number four, sniff them a little. <laughs> you know, I personally like it when somebody comes up to me and goes, hey, you smell good. Just come up right behind him, you know, and, and just hit him with the <sighs> ah! And, you know, comment on it, all right? Be like, hey, you smell like roses. Or if you successfully completed step number three, say like, you know, you smell better when you're asleep. Say something. People like it when you're thoughtful, you know? So just be nice, be sincere, don't go to jail. <laughs> all right, say none of this stuff works. Unlikely, but not impossible. You're getting nowhere. Who's got time for that? Ain't nobody. Let me check my watch. Nope, still no time for that. Clearly, your crush either doesn't like you or just doesn't want anything to do with you in general, which is, I mean, again, <laughs> wouldn't know. <laughs> Can't even imagine. All right, but this last step, fail safe. You better be paying attention, lazy turd, because I'm about to rock your world. Step number five, never fails. Guaranteed to work every time. Just like, Accept the fact that they don't like you and move on. Kidding! God! Idiot! Kidnap them! There's nothing more romantic than kidnapping somebody and then moving to a remote country or region for unspoken legal reasons. Romance! Chicks love that romantic crap! People are always saying the best way to better yourself and become a better person is by stepping out of your comfort zone doing something scary. And I'm pretty sure that lawsuits are scary to everyone. So is jail. Sit up, have better posture you what is that now go out and get that special someone and if they don't come willingly kidnap them